What's up guys, I'm the Lazy Goldmaker. Today we're covering something that I've been way too late on. Cooking, obviously, the secondary profession. Always a goldmaking classic. I haven't talked about dragon fight cooking ever, so it's about time. Now, obviously, for those of you who are completely unfamiliar with cooking as a crafting profession, it takes fish, meat, and vendor materials, and you turn them into food. The things you right-click and then you, your character sits down, so then down and eat them. And after 10 seconds, you usually get some kind of buff. That's why people buy them, at least, uh, for the one-hour stat buff. Or if you have the alchemical flavor pocket, it's going to be a two-hour stat buff that does that you keep when you die. Uh, extremely useful, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah, that's not the point here. The point is to craft food, sell it for a profit, and be very, very happy. Now, cooking, you're selling stackable items with fairly low prices and fairly thin margins. You're selling into the region-wide auction house. What does that mean? It means that maximizing your stats is very, very important. So we're going to look at the ways you do that. Now, cooking, as you'll see here, there's no like specialization. There's no cooking knowledge. There's nothing there, uh, which is the main source of, of crafting stats. That just doesn't exist. The only thing you have is a single accessory, the Master's Wilder Cloth Chef's Hat, and a single tool, the Chef's Splendid Rolling Pen. As you, and as you can see, both of these have deterministic stats. Crafting speed, multi-craft, resourcefulness, crafting speed, um, you can't pick. Uh, and then you want to throw a max quality uh, resourcefulness enchant on top on uh, the rolling pen to get the absolute maximum stats you can reach, which is 9.9% resourcefulness and 3.2% multi-craft. Uh, and those are the only stats that matter for, for cooking. Uh, now, there is actually a way to get even higher stats. Uh, and that's through the use of these optional reagents. Salad on the side, this is a finishing reagent that gives you plus 90 multi-craft when you craft. Obviously this is consumed and costs you about 10 gold uh, per craft, or a little bit less if you're crafting them yourself. Um, and then you have the impossibly sharp cutting knife, which uh, gives you 110 resourcefulness. Um, so when you craft so obviously these can be profitable on average but you use one every time you craft so you need to craft those as well and as of right now it's not profitable to use um, the salad on the side for these crafts for instance um, whereas uh, for the feast it is profitable because the feast is a lot more valuable so getting more multi-craft is actually a, um, a significant increase in, in the value um, you also have one very special one, the ooey gooey chocolate. This is only for those of you who have this on a main where you're max rep with the Artisans Consortium. Uh, this gives you a guaranteed multi-craft proc. So you craft an ooey gooey chocolate, you can craft one per day and use. you need to use it that day. Uh, and when you add that, you can't add that to the feast, but when you add that here, that's going to give you a guaranteed multi-craft uh, proc on that next craft. So you want to use that on whatever is the highest value craft, so like the most expensive craft, so that you get the most value possible from the extra multi-craft. Uh, and obviously make sure that the, the multi-craft, so what you're getting on average is worth more than the materials, uh, which are all vendor materials. So it's not particularly expensive, it's 22 gold um, and 10% resourcefulness. Um, so it's, uh, it's about 20 gold uh, cost. Uh, so as long as what you're crafting, or what the output from a craft is worth more than 20 gold, then it's worth using an Uyghur chocolate on. The main recipes that we're going to try to make gold with, or that you should be looking at to make gold with, um, is the Feast. There's a couple of different variants of the Feast. Uh, the Graal's Veneration, Graal's Devotion, Graal's Reverence, they all craft the same Feast. And you all get all of them from doing the Community Feast in the Asher Span. And getting lucky, essentially. So right now, the Graal's Veneration is the cheapest, but it does require Rhymefin Tuna. So there's that, uh, which is a little bit um, annoying, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to vary from, from prices. Earlier today, when I checked, I think the Graal's Devotion or the Graal's Reverence was the cheapest one. Um, so it's, gonna, um, it's not going to be the same all the time. Um, on top of that, you have the Fated Fortune Cookie. This is the main stat 
single use food so i keep a stack of these on me just so i can slap this on whenever i need it um here you can use the ooey gooey chocolate and you can use the uh extra multicraft which may or may not be worth it depending on uh, on the prices as you can see right now this one's barely worth crafting um and lastly you have these foods the deluxe fish dishes this is six different foods they give two different uh secondary stats that's the buff there they sell pretty well and um as you can see here some of them are profitable some of them are not particularly profitable uh, and that's going to vary throughout the, the week essentially uh, <clears throat> now to get the recipes fated fortune cookie recipe purchased on the auction house it's just uh, buy on the auction house angle the feasts you get those from doing the feasts and the deluxe fish dishes you learn these from crafting these simple fish dishes uh, and all of the recipes for the simple fish dishes are traded on the auction house um you only need two of these recipes because each of these recipes can be each of the deluxe fish dish recipes can be learned from from two of these um so you need one of salt bake fish cake and seamoth surprise i believe and one of fillet and fangs and timely demise so just pick the two cheapest ones if you want to get all the recipes um that's going to be the most expensive part of leveling cooking by the way um everything else is going to be very very cheap because you're crafting items that cost you about 30 gold per craft for the most part even for for these ones and these deluxe fish dishes will get you all the way to max um and skill matters skill matters a lot for these and for the feasts as you can see here actual number of servings will vary based on cooking skill you need to get to max cooking skill essentially so that you can get the best possible results from crafting as you can see right now i'm at 110 uh crafting right now which means that i'm always getting four if earlier today when i was at 90 and leveling i would sometimes get three um but now we are getting consistent max quantity which means that we are actually making gold when we're crafting this um so this is very very important but it's not particularly expensive outside of buying the the recipes which is gonna vary up from realm to realm it was about like fifteen thousand gold to buy all of the recipes on my realm uh but you can get away with like five six thousand for two of them for the two cheapest um to to unlock everything now for food for selling food as with every other consumable in the game the best day to do this is on the reset day that's when people buy most of the consumables for the week rates have just reset and plus just reset they're gonna go run their weekly keys right away they're gonna have raiding days on wednesdays or tuesdays uh, that's where you want to sell and that's where you want to have stock available now to sell these items i have a tsm setup it's linked in the description and uh, or in the blog post in the description and it uses crafting and we are assuming in this video or in the setup that you have both of these at quality five um, if you don't, then you can go into the, the multicraft collector or the multicraft calculator and change it and then change the, the minimum and normal and maximum prices or rather just the minimum price to something that, that suits you better. Uh, but we are assuming that you have quality five and I very much doubt that you will be able to be profitable with cooking right now if you don't have absolute max stats, which means quality five um, on both. We're not including the value of using salad on the side or using ue gooey chocolate in the settings. Those are essentially free profit. Um, now, it's possible, of course, that prices go down enough that you need to, to incorporate the value of those in addition to everything else to actually be able to, to sell your stuff. Um, but uh, that does not seem to be the case right now. So we're just going to ignore that. Slam the TSM settings. It's going to work. Go craft some food, put it out onto the auction house and grab some sales.